Hey everyone, welcome back to Mod Life Season 3, episode number 57. Back in Bentley Industries. Man, has it been a while. I've missed this place. Man, hopefully my employees have missed me too. Have you guys missed me over here in the research development center here? The receptionist, y'all just hanging out today? Everything going well? Yep, yep, everyone's happy. I think everyone's happy. Mr. Eli Heek. And is there more people down here, y'all? Up, oh, Lika's hanging down here, and so is L. Murphy. Yep, so everyone's hanging out down here. Actually, I need to talk to one of you guys today. Is it you, Eli? Yes, yes it is, in fact, you. I need to trade with you some emeralds for some world resizing cubes. Thank you, Eli. Much appreciated. So, it's been a little slow here in Bentley Industries lately, but um, not too long ago I did a long session at a live stream and was doing some work on our shield generators. These things are power hogs, and I'm hoping to help remedy that today. Not completely, but at least help remedy that. Um, these things are insane. We have the shield generator down this way. This is pretty much... Um, covering this entire area here with no problems. Now this one is one that I uh, just finished building. We also have another one here, um, but it seems like we're gonna maybe need two, these two, or third. So if that's the case, that's gonna be a little insane. I'm thinking about tearing all of these templates down, redoing them, and hoping for the best. Well, isn't that just crud? <laughs> The blood mood is rising. Well, that's completely all right. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of work. So uh, I'm going to make a quick compact machine. I'll set this up down here in our compact city here. I need to get some signs going for sure. There we go. Go ahead and set him up. we got a brand new area we can start working in. And this is what we're going to be doing. So... I need, actually, some new applicants to actually work inside of this compact cube here, this little compact machine. They're going to be managing a power system, and this power system is going to be made from, that's right, calculator. Calculator, actually, we've done some work in it before. We've uh, made these conductor masks. They worked amazingly before. But they were a little bit later um, uh, debuffed, <laughs> nerfed. That's the word I'm looking for. Nerfed. My uh, my stomach's actually trying to think for me, not my brain. Um, so yeah. So pretty much they got nerfed, and uh, our little area that's um, set up for our conductor mast is only producing us a measly 1.7. Um, wait. Uh, 1700 RF, basically. So 1. 1.7 thousand RF. That's what I was going for. And what I want to work on today is this little fellow right here, the calculator locator. This is a very cool system, thanks to calculator, that's going to allow us to hopefully set up a completely free system that's going to give us a large supply of free power. Hopefully infinitely. Um, so we're going to be needing to make quite a few of these advanced assemblies here. Lots of energy modules. And that's just going to be from power cubes. These are pretty easily made. Just a lot of cobblestone. And not hard to do it at all. Now we do have a little bit of a problem. The main piece, we're going to need one of these. A calculator locator. It's going to require a beacon. And we all know what it requires of a beacon. That's right, a nether star now. Unfortunately, we do have another way of getting this. This is a 0.01% chance, and, well, thankfully, if we can make it back there without dying, <laughs> we managed to get a beacon. And that 0.01% chance, and the time that it was analyzing all of our extra circuits here, we managed to get a beacon. And that's exactly what we need to go ahead and make this guy. So we got ourselves a beacon right here. Went ahead and pre-crafted some atomic assemblies. These guys are a little bit of a pain because you have to make these scientific calculators. And yeah, they're not hard to make. They're just a little bit of a pain because they don't stack. That's the main issue. So we can pretty much go ahead and say we can make this guy up right now. We're going to need some stable stone. I 
don't... Do I have none in here? Okay, I should have some stable stone. I think it doesn't really matter what kind it is, but we'll just request a little bit here. And I think we need some of those redstone ingots as well. Um, let's go ahead and do 50. We'll go ahead and take them all. Give us all the redstone ingots. There we are. And lastly, we are going to need to craft one of these guys, the calculator plug. So we're going to need a power cube and some purified coal. Is this purified? This is enriched, I think. How do we make purified? Let's take a look. So basically enriched with... Okay, we got that. Um, was that an energy module? Pretty sure we have that. Go back to you, you. Purified coal. Yeah, enriched gold. Okay, that's what it was. There's a lot of enriched things, and I just get a little confused. We're going to definitely need a lot more than this, uh, but this will at least get us started, and we can start working on making the main piece here. So we're going to do this and this. There we go. Purified coal. And with that, we just need a power cube. Give us one of those. Combine these two together. I'm assuming... And the scientific one yep there we go energy module and with that we should be able to craft this guy <sighs> really you must not like me so you you and let's go ahead and hit this stable stone and two advanced ones in the center there we go now we're gonna need a lot of these guys we're gonna need a lot <laughs> Simply put, we're going to need a literal ton. This is what uh, we're going to be using to expand our power generation through calculator. So we're going to start off with one because we need it for the calculator locator. So we're going to use these two guys plus a few pieces of stable stone and we have the calculator locator. Now in order for this guy to actually work, we're going to need a couple different things. We're going to see that if we right click on it, we have a nice little user interface here. It says active, false, multi-block, false, owner, none, stability, unknown. Now I'm going to run through all of these here in just a bit and what we actually need to do to set up this multi-block. But first, let's go ahead and run over this part right here, the owner. Now in order for it to designate the owner, we need to make a locator module. This is going to consist of two calculators and two energy modules in our flawless calculator. Okay, so two energy modules. Ooh, that's going to be an ouchie. Um, let's see here. Where's I'm going to get lost in this thing again. All right, so how do we actually get this? Well, this is okay. That's that's super easy. We can make a whole ton of this stuff. Let's go ahead and grab like a stack of you, a stack of you, and a stack of you. <laughs> we'll just make this up easily in our pockets. One, two, three, go. One, two. There's our enriched coal. Place him here with you. Purified coal, ready to go. And easily enough, I think we just need, what, four of those? So four of you in this. Yeah, look, four energy modules. That was easy. Um, actually, I think we only need two, right? Yeah, we only need two. Whoops. All right. Plus, some regular calculators. Got right, uh, plenty of those as well. So let's go ahead and set this to flawless crafting. So you... Wait, what? Energy? Oh, there they are. And you. So I already got two energy modules for later, but we have ourselves a locator module. All we have to do is right-click with this, and it'll set the owner to yourself. We'll place this right here, and we have the owner set to the only Bentley. Now, our last issue is setting up the multi-block and getting a ton of the plugs set up. So I'm going to go ahead and run through, do some crafting of this. Um, these aren't going to be too bad to set up. I've actually set them up a little bit um, in auto crafting. These right here, the calculator assemblies. So if we type in assembly, we can see we can craft them. I'm actually going to go ahead and request a good stack of these guys. Stack successful, and here in just a moment, we should be seeing a stack of calculator assemblies showing up in our ender pouch. Come on through, my friends. There they are, coming in nice and quick. Look at that. It's beautiful. And then lastly, we just uh, use these guys, like so, with our diamonds, and we have ourselves 
advanced assemblies. This is what we're going to be needing for our calculator plugs, plus a whole bunch of these redstone ingots, some stable stone, and then mainly these guys. So I'm going to run through probably uh, auto craft a lot of these guys real quick. We'll be back in just a minute. Um, hopefully, Blood Moon's over. Not quite. We'll be back in. Oh, hi, sheeps. <laughs> just a minute. All right, guys, we're back with 54 <laughs> calculator plugs. Didn't take me too long to actually craft these. Uh, with a little bit of help from some auto crafting, pretty much just set up the um, the calculator assemblies and just crafted these myself. Um, the energy modules, they go pretty far, um, especially when you have a, a stack of power cubes and purified coal, pretty easy. The only problem is, is that these... Uh, don't stack so they just fill up your inventory and it takes you a few minutes to go ahead and poke everything around in your eye bench. I could go ahead and set that up on another auto craft system but I really don't feel like doing that just because yeah. Um, anyways what we're going to be needing now I believe at this point is I want to say let's grab some cobblestone. We'll do about four stacks of this stuff and then I think maybe some Oh, quit too. Four stacks of those sound good. Yeah, got a whole bunch of stone cooking up at the moment too. So if we're a little bit low on power, then uh, yeah, hopefully we can get that fixed today. Let's see. Let's do this and this. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Reinforced stone. We're gonna be converting this into just regular stable stone, which I think is like. Oops, not that. We need to go back to flawless crafting. Wait, wait a minute, what? How do we make stable stone again? Not you, you. How do you do that? Oh. Oh, okay. Reinforced stone bricks? Oh, that's easy. I thought it was harder than that. My bad. Okay, so we do this. This probably is a different way, but um, I'm okay with this. This is uh, completely fine. So, whole bunch of stable stone. I'm pretty sure we can use any variant of stable stone for this next step. So, I'm going to go and start laying out the size of this contraption, this multi-block I want. But first, I'll show you guys the base. Um, pretty much, um, you can set it up anywhere you want. I think the smallest is a 3x3, three three, like this. And then in the center, I want to say, is it... Let's see, let's do this. Get rid of that guy. And then I believe, like, show. I think we can put the... Wait, where is my calculator? Locator thingy-majig. Did I put it up? Lo... Oops, not a lot. Locator. No, is it still in the, um... The other place? I Make sure I'm not missing it anywhere. Is it inside of here? That leave it in here. I sure did. You come with me, Mr. Calculator thing. Uh, how are we doing up here? Eh, not doing too bad. Also, this whole setup was pretty much the reason uh, we were doing um, this whole setup. With, uh, wait, wait, what am I saying? <laughs> this whole setup is pretty much what I wanted to do to set up for this system here, the calculator locator. We need a lot of these stable circuits. And I'll get to that here in just a minute as well. Let's go ahead and jump back in here and start setting the, this little fella. So we're going to set up our calculator locator here in the center. And around this, we're going to just uh, set up these little guys. Do, 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 do. Like so. And I believe if we get our other stable stone, we'll go ahead and set up these guys pretty much just like this. So now if we hover over this... We uh, take a look, it says multi-block false. Okay, so, hmm, did I set that up right? I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe it needs to come up a block. There's a very real possibility that this actually needs to be up one block higher. And if that's the case, then that is okay. Do, 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 do. These things are a little tough to break. They're nice and sturdy, I like that. That means they're Bentley material. Bentley Industries material, that is. Nice, there we go. And we'll want to get rid of that block there. Place this guy back. So we're going to just see how good the smallest one is. I want to say, please tell me this one's right. Is it right this time? Multi block, false. Why are you false? You should be true. Hmm. Pretty sure it was like this. 
Unless something's changed, because I did this before I updated the pack. Or I could just be completely and utterly derping. I could be doing both. Let me go check so I don't waste too much time on this. Um, and see... Really? Wow. These things take forever to break. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and uh, take a look real quick and make sure that I have this set up right. And I derped. <laughs> I did derp. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it's pretty much set up like this. We got a nice little small plus in here and a little hole in the center. Then from here, we do exactly what I was kind of envisioning before. And we set up these like walls like this, so it'll kind of set up like so. And then we can take our calculator plugs, place them down on the edges, and if you so desire, which would probably be a pretty decent idea, is if you can get a flux uh, plug, which I think, what did uh, we need for a flux plug? I always forget this one because I don't usually use these very much. Flux plug is a reinforced iron block with an eye of ender. Okay, I... Not every stupid keyboard thing. Um, let's actually go ahead and request two of these and reinforced iron ingots. There we go. Let's go ahead and say 18. We'll go ahead and make up two of these plugs for now. Do a quick craft of these things and back to our flawless calculator. Setting him up in there. There we go. Two flux plugs. So, good way of doing that is setting up your flux plug in there, configuring it up already the way you wish. I'm going to go ahead and set this up to nothing at the moment. <laughs> just a demonstration, of course. And then from here, we'll just simply take our calculator locator, place him right down in the middle, and we can see our multi block is finally set to true because I'm not an idiot this time. And then we'll just take our locator module set to myself place it inside and you can see we are generating uh oh well now we know why it exploded hopefully you guys know why it exploded <laughs> because well it was unstable so we did lose some of these calculator plugs I think maybe possibly there might be a chance but this is actually where the stable circuits come into play let's jump into here real quick and Let's just go ahead and grab some of these stale circuits. We'll do, what, six, seven, eight. It doesn't really matter which kind they are as long as they're stable. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab some random ones. We'll hop back in here and start setting up these guys. So before we even put our locator module inside of here, let's just go ahead and leave that as is. Recreate the structure real fast. One, two, three. One, two, three and some of these plugs and then inside of them is where we're going to place our circuits you can see as you place them in there it changes from false to true under stability and we can see we have a 25 percent stability on our main one and as we keep putting them in there our stability rises so if we go and fill them up completely we shouldn't have to worry at all about this thing going boom on us and as soon as we set this up, this small little structure is setting up and producing us 500 RF per tick. And it's, well, I'm pretty sure this is completely free and sustainable. So, yeah, I like it. I love the way it looks. And we have a little bit of uh, room for an expansion in here. And that is exactly what I plan on doing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out this guy. And we're going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and expand this system out a lot further, as far as I can, inside of this little compact machine here. And we're going to bring them all the way out to here, like this. And then I think, let's see, I'm pretty sure we just filled the entirety of the floor, except for this corner. And we'll do that all the way around this place. And then we'll also line the edges from here all the way around, except for that corner. And when I'm done, we'll start filling in the rest of this place with these calculator plugs. Do, 
Do, do, do, do, do, do, do, do, do. I think I have enough stable stone. I'm hoping I do. All right, that's good. And then if we completely continue this way, we should be done. There we go, like so. That's how we're gonna be setting up this inside of here. And from here on out, we're gonna go ahead and just start expanding it. Now let's take a look at this. I'm pretty sure, I don't think this will work. Yeah, so it's still not set up right because these need to go all the way out to the edges. That's the only way I think this will work. But let's go ahead and test by just adding an outer layer to this. And seeing multi block false. Okay, cool. I am hoping we have enough of these uh, calculator plugs here. Don't think we're going to. Alright, so we're going to need. What is that? We got two spaces by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen. So we're going to need 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24 is what, if my math is correct. 24 meet more of these calculator plugs. We're gonna go get those real quick. I'm gonna do a little bit of crafting to get some more of those guys up and running and Hopefully start filling up these guys with stable circuits as well We'll be back in a minute as soon as we get to that point. See you guys back in just a second All right guys, and we're back with a nice large calculator locator multi-block Looking pretty good so far. I'm almost done setting up all of the uh, stable circuits in here. So I have a, a bunch of variety of different ones in here. Like I said, I'm not sure if they actually do something different depending on what type of stable circuit they are. Um, probably could do a little bit of testing on this. Uh, wouldn't be a bad idea. So let's go ahead and uh, finish this up here. Here, there we go. So there is all of them. If we check on here, we have a hundred percent stability. All we have to do is place this guy back inside, and we're generating 5.1 thousand, or um, yeah, 5.1 thousand <laughs> RF per tick, or 5100 RF per tick. There we have it, guys. Look at that. That is better than one uh, biodiesel generator from immersive engineering pretty cool as far as I'm concerned this thing is completely free and I don't think anything's ever gonna happen to it I don't think um, but this is exactly how much I was uh, generating in testing um, at least uh, research and development told me in testing and yeah so I don't think uh, I'm kinda scared to take one out but bloop bloop Pretty sure that's not going to change anything, so yeah, still 5.1. I probably have to change a lot in order for something to possibly change, but I don't think it actually does. So, we got this guy set up. He's constantly generating all of this power for us. You can see it going up there, and what I plan on doing is hopefully getting uh, a couple layers of these set up inside of this single cube, so possibly could generate up to 20,000 RF per tick for free. Wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> That's the plan. So what I have also done since I uh, left off last episode was I did a little bit of work inside of our storage cube here for energy. I went ahead and added some more energy buffers here, and I'm going to go and start setting up this little fella right here. Uh, so we're going to need our second flux plug, which I placed in here for the time being. You go back in there. And we're going to go ahead and start setting ourselves up a brand new flux controller. I think that's one of our main problems at the moment is we don't have like specified um, controllers for specified things. Like I think our tree farm needs to be set up on something specific, possibly like only lightning generation. So that way it's not pulling out of anything else. Our mining operation needs to be pulled off a single type of power generation, possibly like the biodiesel generators here, and maybe set them up on the same uh, for processing. Um, I think that's a pretty good scale, but we need to start dividing them up, I think. Instead of just throwing everything on just one or two, we need to start splitting them up a little bit. So we're going to need another flux controller. Pretty easy. Need an end diamond. Do I have an end diamond? No, I don't have an end diamond. What do we need for these guys? We need an electric diamond, obsidian, and end stone. Okay, one piece of obsidian, end stone. I should still have a little bit of that left. And I think that electric stone was from a fire stone, I say. If 
Firestone, Firestone, where are you, Firestone? Fire Diamond, that's what we're looking for. All right, so we just need a couple diamonds and blaze rods. Do you, I say blaze rod. I meant blaze rod, not blaze rods. Probably need to go sleep, right? Is it nighttime? It is indeed nighttime. Time for sleeping time. All right, so we'll make that real quick and throw that inside of our conductor mast. So we need to put you here and you in there. There we go. So we got our fire diamond. Toss this in here. And I think we're going to need to disable this for the time being. So let's go ahead and set this to nothing. And as soon as this hits, we should start generating our electric diamond. There we have it. Wonderful. We'll start setting this up back on power station one where it's supposed to be. And hopefully we'll set that up a little bit better for making some electric diamonds or we'll start setting up a, a different system altogether for it at some point. All right, what do we need for phase two of that crafting process? A piece of obsidian in stone and we're gonna need this guy yet again if i'm not mistaken like this we have our in diamond and then we just need some stone so we need some stable stone or is it just reinforced stone? i think it's reinforced stone and one stable stone there we go do i have any more reinforced reinforced stone aha there we are we'll grab six of those as well doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. and we have ourselves a brand new flux controller we're gonna set this guy up inside of our power facility here right there just like so we're gonna make a brand new network and we'll call this uh we'll call this one power power bank oops not banged bank number three there we go so we'll set that up there and in order for us to start setting up our other calculator locator let's go set that flux plug to that um, we're also going to probably need to jump in here and tell this one that we want it to hook up to uh, power bank three there we are all right so currently nothing in here there's a little bit of power left in this resonant energy cell but no big deal uh, if we run back over now wait did we need a flux point or a flux plug on this i think we needed a point right anyways yeah i'm pretty sure this thing's completely filled up with power at the moment but in order to get underneath i gotta break them uh, this little guy needs to go away for a bit let's go ahead and get ourselves a flux point pretty sure that's what i want because these guys send energy and we're gonna send him up to power bank three so it sends out to that system isn't that right power bank three Yes, that's what we want. And then we'll um we'll have a power bank supply as well that'll send out from that. Actually we need to go into the top of that so I don't get confused. Sends energy. This receives energy. So no, we did that right. Yeah, we did that right. So power bank number three, that's gonna send there. Okay, cool. Alright, let's put him back. Like so that back in there oh that's cool he actually retained his uh his actual energy that's awesome all right let's come back in here so i didn't set this one up right this is what i didn't set up right inside of here i want this to be see, do, 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 do. no actually that's right this needs to be blue that needs to be orange right no Yes? These send energy. I cannot for the life of me remember how I set these up. Oh, right. That's 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 what I had to do. There we go. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. And then blue here. Orange there. Let's go ahead and get rid of him for now. All right. So I'm pretty sure that's... Is that right? Why is that not working? Power bank three... So that flux plug should be sending to this flux point, filling up this guy. Why is that not working? Flux controller. Ah, probably need to set it up, right? Oh, lasers are going. 
Oh, that's just a uh, Enderman, no big deal. <laughs> Send mode, all right, let's go ahead and say default receive mode, God mode, protection on public, and transmitter mode off. All right, let's go ahead and check this one more time. It's been a while since I had to set up another one of these systems here. Do not push the big button. All right, power bank three. Yeah, this thing should be working. All right, guys, let me fiddle around with this. I do not know what I'm doing. My brain is not working. All right, guys, and we're back. Looks like I kind of figured it out. I really honestly don't know what the problem was, but I'm going to tell you guys how I managed to get it to work, and that was just by placing a resonant energy cell up on top with our flux point. This is actually still set up to a power bank number three, and I did move um, the flux controller as well, but I don't think that had anything to do with it because it didn't work um, without this either. Um, it actually still didn't even work with uh, just a regular resonant flux duct. If you guys see in Wayla, it's not even pulling out anything, and um, it wasn't even pulling in through the flux points, which is very strange. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, not, not sure, but it seems to be working just fine over here <laughs> with no problems, and as well as that one, which it was working just fine. Um, this one's pulling out with the resonant energy cell to the flux plug, um, doing just fine. We're going to set up a, a, a similar system to this right here, where it has um, a system coming in, and um, we'll set up certain things on it going out like that. So, um, as it sits right now, this thing is doing amazing. It's I, I can't really tell exactly where it's at because these graphics don't seem to want to work anymore on the front. Um, but I'm pretty sure, what is that? Halfway full? That's pretty awesome. And that's completely free power. I love it. So I'll probably have to give me another um, resonant energy cell. I'll set it up here with another flux plug and we'll have another system to start um, pretty much filling up our uh, extra power bank for all of our power needs and such. So yeah, I think we're gonna be using that for possibly, I might say I might use this for, I mean, look at that, look at that, that's so beautiful. Um, this is where I put the flux scroll. I, I might wind up using this to charge up the shield, basically. I don't know, it may not work. We still might need a lot more power generation just to keep up all of these shields going. Um, so I might use this for something else um, that might actually not require as much power, just in case it's not enough stored power. So I think next episode, we do want to continue on our power hungry train, because we do need a significant amount of power. I'm gonna probably take a look into another new form of power generation. Plus, we're going to need a lot of power for all these uh, turrets as well. We're going to be setting up a whole bunch more of those as well in the very near future. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And if you guys are interested in a application, um, submit it down below as well for a power supply guy position. <laughs> um, what are they called? Um, um, gosh, I don't even remember. But you, you know what I mean, yeah. If you guys want to work um, in the power field um, of Bentley Industries, but yeah, 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 we'll go with that. If you guys want to work in the power field of Bentley Industries, um, just submit your application down below. So anyways, thank you guys again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time. Until then... Goodbye.